Let's get down to business, eh, Nona, with Nona Peltier. Uh, Fletcher Building, it's back in the black in yep. terms of profits. It is indeed, yes. It made a profit, and that's after, you know, a couple years of quite miserable results with losses in their building and interiors division. That's the high-rise buildings. Now, they're not out of the woods yet uh, in terms of getting those projects completed, but they haven't had to increase uh, the provisions for losses related to that. That was on the good side. On the bad side, the Australian market is really difficult for them. It's, it accounts for about a, th about a third of their income, mm -hmm. and it made a 24% underlying profit loss I mean uh, underlying profit down 24% so that not a loss <laughs> I want to make yep. sure there's no losses in any of this conversation um, <laughs> <laughs> just clear that up right away uh, never mind though the market still wasn't really that happy while the company is seeing some growth prospects in New Zealand Australia is going to be a drag on their earnings so their share price fell nearly 6% down 30 cents to $4.98 and also Spark and Sky battle over content. The market doesn't like that. No, it certainly didn't like it on either side. So both of them had a, reported a drop in their profit. Sky TV was down some 20% and Spark was down about $9 million. So uh, perhaps a better result overall. But never, the, never mind, they're both competing there for sport content. That's expensive. The market's concerned about that because it means that Prices are really probably going to go up for consumers in any case. It doesn't necessarily flow down to their bottom line in terms of profit. It's really a battle about customers uh, more than anything. Spark wants them. Sky's trying to hang on to them. And Spark's winning the game and where it goes, where, where it's going there. And um, what happens next, we don't know. But John Follett, it's his last uh, days as the chief executive at Sky, and so it's somebody else's problem now. <laughs> uh, Sky TV, it fell 4%, down $0.07 cents to $1.68, and Spark was down more than 3%, uh, down $0.13.5 cents to $3.89.5. So overall, the market was up just over a quarter of a percent, which uh, reflects uh, a stronger sentiment that there is going to be a deal between China and the United States on trade tariffs. Oh, back on again. Anyways, we rose, uh, what did I say, yeah, 25 points up to 9,249. And our dollar is trading steady at 68.7 U.S. cents, 95.9 Australian, 52.6 pence.